a 4, 3, 4a says, For this says the Lord, the men of Judah and Jerusalem, Break up your fallow ground and do not sow among the thorns. Circumcise yourselves to the Lord and remove the foreskins of your heart. Joining us in reading this 90-day reading plan. Today's reading is Jeremiah 4, and I encourage you to read that passage. What about 600 AD, a man by the name of John Climacus wrote a small book entitled The Ladder of Divine Ascent, and while its focus originally were those who, for those who decided to live in a monastery, it has incredible applications for today's behavior. The ladder consists of 30 rungs which help the believer grow in his or her walk with Christ. Some of the principles and steps focus predominantly on those who wish to have a life that is very removed from the day-to-day -day world, but most of it can be very quickly applied to the believer who functions in the perils of the day-to-day -day world. Well, God gave Jeremiah a message. Tell those in Judah that the end of the was coming and that they needed to repent. And he gave them a clear indication of what they needed to do and a clear indication of what will happen if they chose to repent or what would happen if they chose not to repent. Now, I remember my first garden that Tony and I had in Germany. The ground was very fertile and our garden produced an incredible amount of vegetables. But the German landlord first had us break up the ground. We manually hoed about 1,500 square feet. It was work, but it paid off. There was a stream about 100 yards from the garden, and that's what we used to water the garden. We used to walk down to the stream, fill up our cans, and then water back, walk back and water each plant. Well, God wants us to knock the scales off of our lives, to turn the soil over, so to speak, that the good ground might be available and that we might change to look more like him. Well, if we don't do that, I fear that our country will change into one that no longer exists. We'll be judged both individually and corporately because we've failed to repent. We've failed to pull out the weeds and cut off the useless parts so that we might grow in him.